Everyone likes a bargain, right? This is definitely a bargain. It's a £60 showy helmet that I found online a few days ago. Um, but as my mother says, sometimes a bargain is just a little bit too good to be true. And there's, there's a couple of things about this helmet that alerted me to the fact that it may not be the real thing. However, I don't want to judge it because I'm not the expert on these things. I came to Showy Helmets UK to have a word with Martin here, who actually knows everything you need to know about this helmet. So, um, Martin, have I got a, a bargain or have I got something a little less um, premium? A little less premium, yeah, definitely uh, the, uh, the overall headline with this. You probably should have listened to your mother. Unfortunately, uh, Miko's discovered that not everything you buy on the internet is, is as it seems. Um, and this, uh, this helmet is definitely a, uh, a genuine fake. It isn't even actually based on a, a showy model. Um, it is just a um, motorcycle helmet with some fake showy graphics on it. Okay, so if you didn't know, when you're buying a new motorcycle helmet, um, you're looking for the ECE mark, um, which means that the helmet has been tested and certified in a particular country um, for the, the marker that it's been distributed to. Um, so normally what you'd find on the chin strap is a, uh, a small label with the E mark on it um, and then the number. So for, if it was tested in the UK, it would be E11. Um, on this particular fake, we cannot find any E marking at all. Um, the only E marking we can find is the sticker that is on the back, which doesn't certify that it's uh, an ECE certified helmet. Basically, this means that, in our opinion, it is not safe. It's not been tested, um, so we don't really know the actual performance of the helmet. Further to that, on the inside of the helmet, we have the EPS layer, which is your polystyrene foam and protection. So in here. Um, so in a genuine showy, you'd have multi-density, multi-layers uh, of this, whereas in this particular helmet, it's just one single piece of um, standard polystyrene foam. It's not the, the showy patented technology. Um, to make this point, you can see perhaps at the back, there are two um, vent holes, but there's no vent holes at the front, okay? So what that means is we've got a top vent here with the air supposed to be able to come in and go through to your head with the exhaust ports on the back. Well, that's not happening because there's no holes on the inside of the EPS layer here. There's just the vent holes. Um, the vents are extremely cheap. Um, and not of a high quality. Um, so even if they did vent properly, we're not actually uh, we're sure they would perform very well. Um, if you notice, if the helmet is flat on the side here, the air would just go over the top of this vent without actually going into the holes on the top. The visor does have an E mark on it, so technically it has been uh, tested, um, if you can believe the mark that's on it. The visor fitting system is not a showy patented system, so showy use of a flush fit visor system, whereas this is actually a screw system. So you turn the screw and the visor pops off and breaks, just like that. Okay, so now we have a genuine showy um, to compare the fake showy to. Um, so if we just go back to the EPS layer of the fake showy, on the inside here, you can see very limited detail, whereas on the Expert 3, um, you can see the venting channels here painted in blue um, and also the dual layer, dual density EPS. Um, so this is low and high density EPS to give you different levels of protection around the varying areas of the helmet, uh, uh, of the head, sorry. Showing you the visor system on the fake Chevy, so very fiddly, not flush fit at all, whereas the visor system on the, the Chevy Expert 3 is a simple pull tab with a release and then line it back up and pop it back in. So as an added safety feature in genuine showy models, the majority of the range come with a emergency quick release system. So that in an accident, paramedics or emergency services can remove the helmet from a rider's head without causing an additional neck injury. You can do this on the showy models by just simply pulling the red tab and the cheeks come out, repeat the process on the other side and you can remove the helmet with no extra strain. You notice on the fake showy, there's nothing like that. So you just have the popper system 
which is even attached when the helmet strap is done up, is just pop it on. So you wouldn't be able to remove that in an emergency to aid with removing the helmet from the rider's head. Um, so we're going to look at the paintwork um, on the fake showy compared to a uh, genuine showy, but we'll pick a slightly jazzier model for that. So on the close-up shots, you'll probably be able to see this a little bit better, but the paintwork on the, the fake showy is, is less than desired. Um, you can see at the back here where the design has been um, joined. You've got some overlap, so you've got different consistencies of lines and, uh, and paint. If we turn it around, the actual showy logo is wrong. The E and the I are not in line with the rest of the logo. These are obviously small differences. The main point of this is the safety of the helmet, but this gives you an indication of the fact that the helmet is not a genuine article. The main one for us is that this is not a genuine overall graphic. It's not been copied from any other current Showy. Um, the high quality of the paintwork on the Showy Expert 3 and all the other Showy models um, is of high caliber. It's all designed um, and wet applied to the helmet by the technicians at Showy. Uh, it takes two years for this to, for you to be trained in this process. So the guys know exactly what they're doing and do it with precision. So it's hard for us to comment completely on what the fake show is actually made from. Um, best guess would just be a, a plastic. Um, but in a genuine showy, all our shells are made with AIM and AIM Plus uh, composites, which is a mix between organic um, and fiberglass, um, woven in together with strengthening strips running across and down the helmet as well to give it extra rigidity and strength. Um, means that the shell is extremely lightweight um, whilst being extremely strong. So if you've bought a product and you're not sure when it arrives, if it is a genuine or a fake, you can always tell with a showy helmet from the inside. First, you're looking for the E mark on the strap. And then if we take out the crown liner on the underside of the shell, you'll see two stickers. One states that the helmet is distributed and imported by Ferradax. And the second one is a showy sticker telling you who's inspected the helmet on the final inspection. So, Miko, I've spoken about both helmets. You've obviously bought this one already, but are you going to use it? In a word, no. Um, I'm starting to think, based on what you've just said, that I may not have got the best bargain of the year here. Um, if we think that the, the shell, the vents, the visor, the lining, whatever else, is all of inferior quality and we can't be sure that it's even safe given that it's got one sticker out of several that it's supposed to have but it's also got the showy stickers on it that aren't real so yeah I think I, think I know exactly what to do with this 